everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Felicia I did not even turn this heater off and I know it's just gonna seem like it's just obnoxiously loud it's cold I'm not turning the heater off so if you are new to my channel my name is Felicia for those who are returning hey girl hey hey boo hey so today I am just going to show you all what I have been doing to my hair ever since I cut it and the products that I have been using I look back in my hair journal that I used to keep on my phone and I was just like, you know what? There was once upon a time, the first time I big chopped, my hair was flourishing, it was growing fast as crap. So I'm just like, what was I using? What was I doing? How often was I washing my hair? Was I deep conditioning? What was I deep conditioning with? How often was I deep conditioning? Did I use leave-in conditioner then? What type of ingredients were in the products that I was using then? And what I came to the conclusion of when my hair was just taken off, it was because I was using products with super duper clean ingredients. I wasn't using things that had a whole lot of butters and oils and everything like that that was before I just got bored and decided let's try all of these other things and experience with shea butter like everybody else who's my complexion so <laughs> what I was using before was diva curl and my hair used to love it I used to really like it too I was into the whole curly girl method this and the third so I said this time around you know what I'm gonna be like I'm just gonna perfect my wash and go I'm gonna get my hair is curly as it can possibly be and I want to see just how quickly it thrives this time around. So I will be using products that have a lot of super clean ingredients and I don't really see myself getting bored because I already have a list of products and brands that I would like to try that have similar ingredients to the Diva Girl products that I do use. And so I just wanted to make sure this time around, you know, make sure my hair actually still agrees with those same products. So, you know, I picked up the styling cream my hair usually used to prefer the original styling cream versus the super cream. Now if you are not a fan of Diva Curl there's something that I feel like a lot of people don't really take into consideration when using products with cleaner ingredients and then aren't packed with oils and butters and that type of thing. Diva Curl products I don't this is just my opinion I just don't feel like they are for people who use a lot of oils and butters in their hair. I feel like most people probably will not need those things and that includes textures much kinkier than my own. I said what I said. We ain't gonna talk about it. Ain't no discussion. I said what I said. I feel like they don't work when your hair gets used to being weighed down with oils and butters and that type of thing. But I feel like if your hair is still very new or you just did the big chop or you don't use things that have a lot of oils and butters right regularly or too often then I feel like you'll notice how those products are supposed to work for your hair you will actually see like oh so this is what the hype was about okay so you know just things like that but this is just my opinion this is just what I chose to use this is what I found in my old journal so I figured we start there work with something similar to that I know bounce curl is on my list um, I did go ahead and pick up some weed ad products because I was trying those out like way earlier in my journey the second time I cut my hair off and I was like okay so I'm going to show you all what I've been using and just how quick wash day has been since I have no hang time whatsoever stay tuned sis it's gonna be quick but <laughs> stay tuned let go so the first thing that I do when I hop in the shower, I spend a lot more time with water than I used to. So even though I did cut some of these clips a little short, I rinse my hair for quite a good while just so I can make sure that my first step is always real hydration, which comes from water. So I do that thoroughly right before I start my cleansing process. So that usually lasts honestly for about maybe three minutes two to three minutes I don't have much hair on my head I don't need to be in there all day long so you know but I give it a good rinse kind of rub on my scalp a little bit to loosen up any dirt or anything like that before I go in with my actual cleanser just so it does not have to work way harder than it should
Now this Milton's Moisture Deep Conditioner that I am using, I have been a fan of since I first tried it. Yes, it's a little bit on the more pricier side, but a little bit does go a long way. So it ends up being worth it. Even when my hair was much longer, it gives my hair juicy a life. Okay, honey? So much life it makes me want to do all of this for no reason. Your hair just in there feeling like butter, marinating, and you just getting your life together. Now I only deep condition probably once a week, so the other days um, I usually end up washing my hair probably two to three times a week. So I usually just go in with their one condition as my rinse out conditioner and I'll leave a little bit in and then pair it with either the Diva Curl Styling Cream or I've also been trying out the Super Cream or the Ultra Defining Gel. Just kind of depends on what mood I'm in, how curly I want my hair to look and whether or not I have to go somewhere the next day if I just really need those curls to still look decent for more than three days. Now as I apply each one of these styling products, I go in and wet my hands and just add more water to just help the product really work through my hair. I just try to get as much water into my hair as possible so all of these little curls and coils that you see for me in the back of my head can be as uniform as possible. probably eat kids scratch for the rest of my life and I'm fine with that so you guys that was my wash day this is what my hair looks like fully dry the only thing that I noticed that I did not mention on my edges to keep them laid just a little bit I um I used TerraVeda Organics there's a styling foam the owner did give me a tip when I was doing um a collab with her about using styling foam just lay your edges nice and simple nothing that's gonna like dry your hair out Way it down too much. That was it. And that's pretty much it for this video. I'm in calling. I'm finna answer this. I'm gonna talk to you later. Oh, what it is? Oh, oh what's the Lord? I can't play it. Just keep in touch. Excuse me?